Hey Taurus, so today we're going to go ahead and look at your new love reading. This is for those of you who are single, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And we're going to take a look and see who is this new person that's coming into your life. Who is your next love, next encounter. So we're going to get some details on how you'll know who this person is, who they are, what this connection will be like between the two of you and any other details that need to come up here today. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we have confidence is the key to your success, new moon in Leo. So that's that definitely one to fly out. So some of you, this is a maybe a project that you're working on, or this could just be in general. We have new moon in Leo. Confidence is the key to your success. So whatever is maybe currently going on for you or whatever goals that you have. Interestingly enough, I did see the Ace of Wands um, quite a bit when I was shuffling. So this is like a new passion, a new project, a new opportunity. So for some of you, you could be starting something new or there could be a new chance or a new opportunity that's coming in for you here. And I do feel like with this confidence is the key to your success. This is about really taking control over the situation. Leo is very much in control um, with this lion here. So I've actually been seeing a lot of tigers and lions as well. So that could be a message for us here to really just step into our power. So confidence is the key to your success. Let's get one more of these. What else do we have this week? What is the message this week? Okay, yeah, I kept seeing this one here. We have the end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon and Capricorn. Yeah, see, look at this. We have work through your fears and we have a time for healing beneath this. You're very close to achieving your goal. Expect powerful change. So I do feel like with this work through your fears, we're almost in um, Scorpio season coming up. So I feel like this is going to be a lot of us going through this working through our fears. And with this end of a tough cycle approaches, with confidence is a key to your success. If you are going through this, just know again that this is a normal uh, transition for us right now. This is a normal thing for us to go through. And I feel like a lot of fears could be coming to the surface. So a lot of stuff could be really, maybe this is about for some of you, again, it's about your confidence. It's about something that you maybe want to achieve or a goal or even just taking control. I kept seeing a lot of stuff too about a lot of light workers, a lot of spiritual leaders really taking control over, um, you know, stepping up to a leader, leadership position. So this is about knowing that the end of the, the difficulties, this is Capricorn 2 energy. I know Capricorn readings that I've been doing for the collective have been very heavy. So, and I feel like this is too symbolic of this year, 2020 as well. So if you're a Capricorn, especially too, this could be that Things are beginning to come to a close, the difficulties here, but it's like this new beginning or this new portal, this um, new moon in Leo is right in the middle here. So it's like we're really being encouraged to push ourselves beyond our limits right now and to really um, work through these deep fears that we could have. So we'll clarify what that could be, but for some of you, it's going to be emotional fears. It could be fears connected to self-worth fears connected to confidence here, inner child fears, a lot of stuff that needs healing. And I do feel like with this end of a tough cycle, it's kind of like we're, we're again, I'm getting like this clearing out, like the, the road is being paved for clearing out. And with this here, it's like this, this very strong, it's almost like an emperor energy, just, I just, yeah, I just keep getting taking control over something here. So I feel this is going to require us to work through these fears and yeah, at the bottom here, we have the, the death card too. So lots of shifts going on here. So let's get some more oracles and then we'll go into the tarot. This is called the Fallen Angels, specifically what it's called. And it's the Fallen Angels something. I don't know how to pronounce these Fallen Angels. So I just use them more as a you know, just the oracle itself, what the meaning is. So what else do we have this week, Spirit, for the collective? What's coming up for us? What other messages do we have for the collective this week?
So I just heard diplomacy. I don't know why I heard that, but diplomacy. Um, okay, so we have strength and turmoil, and we have upheaval here. Wow. So this is very much of a, um, a tower here. So this is, to me, this really represents a tower moment that could be happening. We have two, two, actually. We have two, and we have two here. And we do have... of. Um, so I feel with this here, strength and turmoil, this is really kind of like with this new moon in Leo too. This is really about having to have our strength and, and really go through whatever these towers are, work through your fears, upheaval. It's like a tearing down of this cycle for us, a tearing down of this tough cycle. Um, and it's going to bring about these feelings. It's going to bring about having to really be strong. And I do think that it could be difficult. I'm getting very much of like a strength energy here with that Leo too, having to, um, it's like tame your fears, tame these, these emotions. So we'll see what this upheaval is in a minute. But twos are also duality too. We have two, we have 20 and we have two. So this is about decisions as well. Um, what else do we have? Yeah, this is going to be a time I feel that's really important. Yeah, very much so here. We have water your garden. It says nourishment, body care, tenderness, and rest. And here we have wait at the bottom. It's not time yet. Things are being woven. And then we have earth learning how to be human in, this, in the world, but not of it. So... I feel with this um, nourishment here, body care, tenderness, and rest, this is really important right now to take care of yourself. Like I said in the beginning of the reading too, um, some of you could be feeling very drained right now, very worn out. You could be feeling like you are really having to kind of go through this own tower moment within yourself. It feels very much of like a self thing. So taking care of your body right now, taking care of your health, taking care of you know mentally, spiritually, physically. Because I feel like with this wait card here, it's not time yet. Things are being woven. Um, this kind of feels like with this, it's like almost ready to emerge or almost ready to move into your past. So whatever that is for you, your confidence here, moving forward here, um, earth, learning how to be human in the world, not of it. So this is about being grounded too. So some of you may be feeling a little bit detached from your body or you may be feeling kind of like you're you know, you're, you're just not feeling as grounded as normal. And I feel like this is a, a part of the ascension that's happening as well. So being in the body with this here, water your garden, nourishment, body care is very much about right now grounding the self and really focusing on um, the earth. So nature could be very important right now as well. Okay, so let's go into the tarot and see what the messages are this week. Yeah, here's this Ace of Wands. So this is what I was seeing before. This is this new beginning. The Ace of Wands, the, the confidence is the key to her success. This is like this fire being ignited here around her third eye crown area. So this is like our our um, our passions being ignited here. So a lot of you, there's a brand new beginning coming. Uh, even though I feel like there's this feeling of having to kind of, like I'm getting just sloughing off the, like the layers, you know, and this is kind of what we're going through. messages right now this week for the collective any overall messages first oh my gosh these cards are flying today uh let me grab that see so what it is All right, so we have the Ten of Swords here, and we have the Ace of Pentacles reverse. Wow, so see, here we have this, this new beginning, this new pentacle that is growing, and we have this weight card here. So it's not the right time yet, and what I'm really, really getting here with this Ten of Swords, very much connected to this work through your fears, 
um, you know, the end of a tough cycle approaches here, Ten of Swords. So a lot of you, this is definitely already passing. So this has already happened. So some of you, you may have gone through a lot this year. You know, I think the whole, obviously the whole world has been going through a lot, but this feels like there's been major difficulties here major endings, major, maybe even pain for some of you that you've been going through. And I feel like with this Ace of Pentacles reverse, this is really about having the potential of this brand new beginning that's pending for us. So this is almost like a feeling I'm getting that spirit wants you to stay optimistic right now. Stay optimistic here. See, we have the Four of Cups. So this is about either being rejected or feeling like we're not really seeing what we have here in front of us. And so some of you, this is about really having to work through these fears and work through your setbacks that you've been through from the past. So you may have been feeling like, you know, maybe this is about love or this is about career or just anything in general. I just feel like with this here, this is kind of letting the, what is that phrase? Just letting things kind of fall right now. Surrender. So the Ten of Swords would indicate here with these birds flying, the black birds, and she's kind of just standing there in the middle of the desert, it looks like. So this is about just kind of letting it go, letting things go, letting things fall away here. And I feel with this pentacle, there's a brand new opportunity coming through in the physical world for some of you. This is going to be a, a it could even be a new job offer. It could be just a new tangible offer that someone's giving to you or gifting to you here. But it's something that's going to promise a new beginning. And I feel... For some, it's also you integrating your spiritual self into your career. So this could be um, those of you really stepping into more of a, a spiritual um, outlet is actually what I'm getting here too. And interesting, we have this earth tier two with this pentacle. So there's a lot of earth connection with this here. Um, some of you, I feel, again, work on grounding yourself because there's almost a feeling of being detached from your body here. Some of you may be feeling like you are not really, how should I say, it's like you're not, it's like you may feel like you're not really trusting in the new beginning that's coming through for you. Or maybe some of you are feeling like you're too much, um, I'm getting the, the fragmented energy here, like some of you feel like you are kind of living in your pain or you're living in a place of the past or um, even just it's like kind of connected to your body, it's, it's connected to what you've been through. And I feel with this Ten of Swords, this is the end of this cycle here. But some of you, the message that Spirit's indicating here is that there's a need for more belief and more trust in the universe because with this work through your fears, these fears are being brought through for a reason because when we're able to get past this energy, it's going to be even better than it was before. So this, this new beginning is going to promise this whole new blossom of our, our progress forward. But I feel some of you are not being connected to the earth if that makes sense because i feel like there's a uh almost like some trauma even for some of you where you've been through so much difficulty i can't think of the actual term of it but maybe some of you know what i'm what i'm trying to say um there's like that fragmentation of the self here and i feel like there's a need to really ground yourself and to get back into the 3d and to get back into earth here because there's this new beginning that's um, going to open up this new portal here but I feel with this confidence, some of you are um, needing to really find your courage again after being disappointed or after being set back. And so being connected to the body, being connected to the tangible is really important right now. And with this weight card, it's not it's not time yet. Things are being woven. Kind of the other message with this is that it's not the right time just yet to be offered this or to take this offer because maybe we are still going through this. So let's see what else here. I'm going to set the tea here. What other messages do we have this week for the collective? Yeah, the justice card in reverse. So some of you, and this is also Libra energy, we are in Libra season. So with the justice in reverse, you know, there may have been an injustice here 
in your life. This is about unfairness, inequality here. And I feel this is about working through the fears connected to this. So this Ten of Pentacles reverse. So again, this came through last week as well. Some of this is connected to family. Some of this is connected to pain that happened in a relationship, maybe this year or whenever, but it could have been the ending of something here with the Ten of Pentacles reversed and the Justice reversed. This to me would point to like a severing of a contract or some unfairness in family or marriages or relationships, long-term connections. And I feel like with this Ten of Swords, um, maybe this was a mischance or a missed opportunity here. What else with this Justice card here this week? Yes, see here, this the Tower. So we have the Tower, we have the Queen of Swords, and we have the Page of Swords. Wow, so that's a very, very heavy um, air energy here. And we do have the Upheaval, so remember I said this is connected to the Tower's energy. So there's a Tower moment happening. It may not happen this week, uh, you know, for some it will, or this is just kind of... To me, the Tower in this case is more of like... It's more of like a a pain or it's more of like the cycle it's i don't feel like it's something specific for some of you it might be that you are really going to have to maybe tear down something you may even be communicating with somebody here this week or somebody could be communicating to you but this feels very much about speaking your truth about an injustice that has happened and i've been feeling this happening or i've been feeling this coming in the collective some of you are going to kind of be finding out some truths here or this is really going to be finalizing a lot of karmic contracts and this could be happening in this mercury retrograde as well that's coming up because i feel and i think we have mars as well um what is it mars retrograde or i think so but it's causing a lot of turmoil it's causing a lot of um, upheaval here so for some this page of swords and queen of swords is going to be something either that you are maybe finding out or that you're communicating here or somebody's finding this out or communicating to you and i feel like it is about something that has been unfair it's about something that had to you know obviously with the ten of swords it was painful here or if it hasn't happened yet for some it could be coming through but just know that i feel like this is part of the closure of the cycle here this is part of what is actually gifting you which kind of came through last week too a new potential, a new beginning, okay? Or this was something that you really invested in or you really thought was the investment for you, but it may have not been, you know, the right thing. And this is part of why this had to happen here for you is because something, you know, wasn't the right, the right thing here. Let me see what else. I'm going to grab this Oracle again. Yeah, and I keep seeing the Seven of Wands. This is really about standing up for yourself. So some of you are going to have to really stand true to yourself right now. So this could be something that you feel with this confidence too, is kind of how I'm seeing the Seven of Wands. This is about knowing thyself, knowing who you are, knowing how far you've come. And whatever situation this is going to arise for you, it's going to require you to really have to be confident moving forward it's going to require you to really have to from what it appears to me with the page of swords and queen of swords have to speak your truth here and have to really um to really um you know stand stand your ground is what i'm getting here What's going on, Spirit, with this Queen of Swords, Page of Swords, Justice Reversed this week? We have Travel here. It's another number 10 card. Wow, look at this upheaval. So this deck, I think uh, the different fallen angels mean different things and they have multiple i don't know what they mean exactly so i'm just using it more of like a just for the words but we have upheaval twice okay i don't know what that symbol is there but so we have upheaval twice and we have revolution and we have travel here so this could involve travel for some of you or this is another an, again another number 10 card here this is going to be a travel of maybe the self or travel 
Maybe some of you are making a big move right now where you're making a big change in your life. And this is kind of part of the new beginning that's coming in for you. Yeah, there's a massive revelation happening here. There's a there's a really big realization that's happening after this upheaval, which I feel is connected here. We have exhaustion. So with that Ten of Swords, you know, obviously some of you, you may be feeling exhausted, not just physically, but emotionally, mentally. Um, and this is all part of this, again, having to really go through our shadows. It does feel like quite a bit of shadow work is coming up, and that's what I've been personally feeling myself. So um, yeah, just be patient with yourself, be easy on yourself here, and know that with the Seven of Wands, you really are... It's like you really uh, have to, to defend yourself, but not not in a hostile way. It's just that you are staying true to yourself. I guess that's that's the word here. What's this upheaval for the collective? Yeah, show the world the real you. So, yeah, look at this. Surrender to the divine. Exactly. So this is a time for surrender. We do have the full moon coming up in Aries. So this could be especially very powerful, I feel, on the full moon. I think it's right around the corner here. I'm not sure exactly which day, but we have quite a bit of tens in this reading. And then we have surrender to the divine and we have show the world the real you. This is like I, this is, I feel it's kind of like, I, I, I know I use that analogy all the time, but like it's a snake shedding skin here because that's what I'm getting. It's like a lot of you, this is going to be the release of something that you really have been maybe putting off. Maybe some of you have been putting off this release. Maybe some of you have been afraid to speak your truth. Maybe some of you have been afraid to let go of something. You've been afraid to feel the pain of something. <clears throat> and I feel like with this surrender and ten of swords, this is the time to let it let it fall because I feel there's a greater plan here at play. And this is part of you showing the world the real you. So this is kind of like with this confidence too is the key to your success and this show the world the real you, seven of wands. This is about you. Um, again, I can't think of the word I'm looking for with the seven of wands, but it's like, it's, I guess it's kind of like authenticity because you are not going to compromise anything about yourself anymore. You're not going to compromise your values. You're not going to compromise um, maybe pleasing other people or whatever it is. It's like really staying true to you and with this Aquarius energy, very independent, very um, individualistic here, individualistic, individual. So this is just about, you know, unleashing who you really are. And I feel there's been this sense of, you know, maybe not being totally content, not being very happy here with this Four of Cups, maybe rejected or going through rejection or just feeling kind of complacent here. And I feel like there is going to be something that's going to shake things up here in order to let that go because it's been a very difficult year for a lot of us. And I feel with this show the world, the real you, we actually have Queen of Swords here too. So some of you could be an Aquarius or you are just kind of taking on the role of Aquarius energy here, which is, you know, very quirky, very independent, doing your own thing here. And it's, it's more than that though. It's just really being who you are authentically without caring about what other people think, without, you know, just being you. And I feel like this is going to be a part of this for you. Let's see what else we have here. Yeah, we have the star in reverse, which is Aquarius too. But the star is all about hope and renewal. And, and um, some of you are going to really be opening your... your intuition here so a lot of third eye crown activation to really opening up to the divine what else do we have here this week for the collective Yeah, another two, and we have got it. Uh, excuse me, energy of the ancients. I'm not sure 
Oz, I don't know what that is, but energy of the ancients here. We have Orchid, Raise Your Vibration, another seven card. And we have Dusty Rose, number six. It says, your love has aged. And we have Goddess Freya here. So with this raise your vibration, I do think that a lot of you, this is about, of course, raising your vibration, energy of the ancients. This is a lot of um, ancestry behind you. I do feel like a lot of you too are really, like I said, you're opening up a lot of intuitive gifts here. Yeah, look, clairvoyance, indigo. So if you've been feeling like you really want to explore, you know, maybe your, your um, psychic abilities, your clairvoyance, whatever it is, or really opening your third eye, really connecting deeper I feel like that's going to be something that you are going to be doing here because it's almost like you're going to feel much more lighter or lighter when you're able to let go here. With this dusty rose, I mean, it kind of feels like there has been a feeling here of kind of like it sounds, something that has been a little bit dusty or something that has been a, an old situation. This is a number six card here. So this is really about things from a past. And I think this is all connected with the Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords. This is really about either letting our past go or really having to come to terms with the pain of our past here, really having to shed these layers of the past and surrender to the divine here. See, we have shadow work. I definitely knew I felt some shadow work here, the ego, number five. So this is going to be some shadow work that you are going to be going through um, with this at the, wherever it went here, the uh, Scorpio card. So this is going to be some, I feel some of you are going through some shadows related to, again, your past here related to relationships from the past, just you yourself, something about things from the past here. And it's it's opening up this portal to really connect to, to your ancestors, some of your healing, some ancestral patterns as well. Um, We have regenerate community, sapphire, and we have overcoming adversity. Yeah. So we have overcoming adversity. We have sapphire. We also have paradise here, heaven on earth. So this is another number seven here. So lots of sevens. And to me, I'm connecting that to the seven of wands. And then we have overcoming adversity. So um, I feel for, for some of you here, there is a need for you to overcome some adversity. And maybe it hasn't happened yet, or maybe it has. But I feel like this is all part of really staying true again to, to you in whatever way this is. And this could also be people connected to you as well. But it's kind of like this, the, the shedding of the ego here or the shadow work is going to reveal the true self under the surface, the true vulnerabilities under the surface here. But it's going to require having to, you know, not care maybe so much about what other people think or not really not really let old outdated patterns get in the way of you is what I'm seeing. So some of you might have some adversity to face right now. You might have some people who are trying to either interfere with you or there's a feeling of really having to, it's like you with the queen of swords here, you've really gained so much knowledge about everything that you've been through. And I think this queen of swords with the page of swords is somebody, especially the queen of swords who has a lot of wisdom from within and she definitely can be kind of cutting. She can be very sharp, but in this case, I feel like it's actually for the best because there's there's a need to almost balance that aspect of yourself. Some of you might be a little bit too harsh and there's a need to kind of let that out and let that shadow go so that you can really be more authentic to you, if that makes sense. So letting yourself be, it's almost like letting yourself feel the pain or letting yourself surrender to some pain here is actually going to allow you to heal. And that's what shadow work is, and especially connected to our past. So this is connected to having to look at the places that we have either felt rejected or neglected or angry or hostile or hurt or whatever, and really transmute that here. So yes, there's a need to stand up for yourself and to overcome adversity, but also kind of know the fine line between feeling your own, like, um, it's like having to clear yourself out too, you know, so having to let go of those pains within you, within yourself in order to find that balance. So I'm getting a lot of closure here, letting go of stuff.
Any other messages for the collective this week? Yes, beautiful. The Wheel of Fortune. Okay, and here we have the Five of Wands. There's definitely been some conflict around you, I feel, or there has been a lot of internal conflict, or maybe both. And the Wheel of Fortune, another number 10 card here, is really going to be the turning of the wheel. The Wheel of Fortune is going to promise this new beginning here. And I feel like it's going to be kind of with the Five of Wands to show at the bottom. It might be difficult for some of you. That might be why we have the Salmon here, overcoming adversity, is because it might be, it might be that you have to really turn this wheel yourself in a way. But even though it's going to be, you know, it's, it's also part of the universe too. But I just feel... Let's get one more card for the Wheel of Fortune. Okay, yeah, we have the Two of Swords in reverse, and we have the Empress in reverse. And here we have the Ten of Cups reverse. So, for some of you, this is about things that you are letting go of in terms of ideals, in terms of, again, like the pains or the, 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 you know, the, the, um, yeah, the pain that has happened here in the past. Some of you with that 10 of cups in reverse, this could be a feeling of this maybe lack of faith or, or feeling with this two of swords reverse, having to remove the blinders here. See how she's holding these or she has these blinders on. So this is about removing the blinders with the Empress in reverse. I feel Again, for some of you, this is a need to connect a little bit more to the earth. But some of you might be a little bit detached, though, from your emotions, like I said. So maybe this is about kind of, again, there's a balance between... There's a balance between not carrying your pain into your present or into your future, but also communicating those healthy boundaries with it, with whatever you're dealing with. So there's a feeling of kind of integrating both here because the Empress is very nurturing, very open, very loving. But with that Two of Swords, maybe some of you are kind of blocking off that feeling or you're blocking off this here. Let's get some of these angel messages. Any other messages right now for the collective? The week of September 28th to the 5th of October. Yeah, Goddess of the Shadows. See, it says, what you perceive to be your dark side holds a hidden treasure. Exactly. So I feel like with this whole thing, I mean, we do have quite a bit of shadows here. And this is exactly what I think that we're all going through but it holds a it holds a hidden treasure and the reason that it holds a hidden treasure is because of kind of what you know what we've talked about here i think part of it is because it's allowed and facilitated growth within you within you know who you've become and yourself and um i just noticed the candle went out <laughs> uh, i don't know when it went out but so it, it's really allowed you to to grow as a person and to really stand true to yourself but it's also it's kind of like it's it's a it's a hidden treasure because it's allowed you to be authentic or it's allowed you to see your shadow when you see your shadows and when you transmute your shadows then of course you're able to be more free flowing like i'm getting a free flowing channel of energy throughout the body so some of you this is about clearing your chakras here kundalini energy as well it's like when we stay dormant in a in a in a current energy that we've been holding pain in or we've been maybe not going through this, not going through hardships, not going through difficulties, then we don't really come out the other side as our authentic selves because we never have the chance to experience pain in the, per in the first place, if this is making sense. So I feel there's a feeling here of you really going through taking your shadows and actually making them something productive and something beautiful. This could even be teaching. It could be being a leader, being a teacher. It could be yeah, I mean, with Aquarius here, the visionary, really, really doing things to uplift humanity here. We have Regenerate Community. 
So this is the wheel turning now because I feel of this, this um, shadow work that a lot of you have been experiencing. I hope that's making sense because I feel like there's a, there's a hidden treasure right now in the shadows that you're going through. And what has been kind of accumulating, I feel, has also been the feeling here of this blessing for you. Yeah, and revolution. It's like a revolutionary breakthrough here. What else do we have right now for the collective? Yeah, angel of communication. Communicate clearly. Don't be afraid to tell it like it is. I mean, we already have that come through very clearly here. Queen of Swords, Page of Swords. Um, some of you may have the chance this week or soon to really confront a shadow of yours and it may even require or it may include having to communicate to somebody or maybe multiple people or whoever your truth and your, your honesty here. So don't be afraid to really tell it like it is. And maybe this is a shadow for some of you. Maybe you have been afraid to do this. Maybe you have been afraid to let something go or to maybe even cut ties with something. And I feel like this surrender to the divine, surrender to the divine is the reminder here for you that this is the right thing to do is to communicate authentically, communicate honestly here. And this is part of somehow the blessing that's, that's coming in here for you. Any other messages for the collective this week? We have Angel of Vision. Someone is not revealing part of the story. Trust your feelings over what others say. I'm going to get one more for that. What is this about? Okay, Angel of Healing. The angels have felt your sadness and have shown up today to send you healing. And look at this goddess of the earth that says an idea connected to imagination, creativity, and nature is coming your way. So we already have that here. The, the um, confidence is the key to your success. We have the ace of pentacles here in reverse. So I feel with this here, obviously there's some healing that's taking place here. Angel of vision. Someone is not revealing part of the story. Trust your feelings over what others say. So there's a need to really trust you right now. Trust your own intuition. Um, maybe this is about people who are trying to confuse you or people who are trying to, again, maybe get under your skin here. Or this is part of a, maybe a relationship of yours or something like that. Because I feel like with this two of swords reverse, you're removing the blinders here to something. And there's a need to trust your own intuition here. Trust your own path at the moment. Angel of Vision. So there's that Ten of Pentacles reversed again. Um, so, and here we have the Four of Pentacles reversed. So this is about letting go. Again, the Four of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Here we have the Ace of Cups. So this is a beautiful renewal of something. And that's kind of what I got in last week's reading too. I feel like for some of you... Whether this is you or somebody else or whatever it is, I feel like there's a there's almost like a feeling of trusting the own self right now. So with the four of pentacles and ten of pentacles and the rest of the stuff that came through, what I'm just getting is that there there has been a lot of letting go of letting go of things that have been held on to for far too long things that have been held on to out of comfort, things that have been held on to out of fear. Um, this, you know, like I said last week, it could even be connected to family for some of you. It could be connected to marriages. We did have that justice in reverse here too. But what I'm really getting with this though, the end of a tough cycle approaches is that 
this is part of the letting go and let and surrender with the four of pentacles some of you this is either you or something else has been holding on really tightly to what you know or holding on really tightly to uh you know maybe not wanting to make changes or not wanting to see the truth here and i just feel like it's connected to this ten of pentacles as well it's really allowing you to because to me the aquarius energy and the ace of cups is more about the heart center it's more about doing things that are fulfilling and loving to you and so this is about a new beginning that's coming that's going to be much more filled with love and genuine emotion and it has something to do connected to maybe the community as well or just doing things that are much more in alignment with your true soul and your true path um but what it's requiring is having to let go again of things that have been outdated so family traditions family um ideals it could be marriages it could be contracts i just feel like it's things that are more rooted in materialism or 3d world is what i'm getting here and this is much more about the heart the heart center the heart space so it's about following your dreams following your path following your destiny and really um having to experience the shadows that are attributed here or connected to this so the shadows i feel are still connected here to maybe our inner child or to even our ancestral uh, patterns or things that have been really held on to or clutched on to here. And what's happening is that we are reaching this, this level of being able to just communicate this is how it is and really communicate that things maybe you know had to happen here for a reason. And this is going to allow a much more purified, um, I think that's that purity I was getting. It's like a clear channel throughout the body here. The heart space is opening in order to allow this. And so I feel here that this is what's happening. So trust what you feel over what anybody else says or what anybody else tries to tell you here, whatever this means to you. Maybe it's opinions of family. It could be opinions of other people. It could be just, you know, because this is very intuitive. Ace of Cups is always going to, always going to feel compassion and empathy and love for the self, which is going to really connect to a feeling of um, following your heart. And we do have this Empress in reverse. So I actually feel too, just another side note, is that for some of you, if your heart center has been blocked, and it's kind of with that Ten of Swords, this is about you really coming to the realize, realization of what has been blocking your heart space. What has been blocking you from really feeling fulfilled? What has been blocking you maybe from love? What has been blocking you from self-love? And this is actually the shadow that we're going through. For some, it could even be, again, maybe your family. It could be your family, um, how that has shaped you and how you have realized how to transmute that. For others of you, it could be a relationship. It could be, you know, whatever that is. But with this goddess of the shadows, there's a reason to why you're going through this currently. And you are beginning to be much more authentic. And everybody is really in the collective, whether this is you or other people. To have this revolution, Wheel of Fortune, and Regenerate Community to really spread this awareness and self-love forward. And so just expect to go through some healing right now. Expect to go through some shadows, especially if you know where those shadows are coming from. And if you don't, maybe figuring out where that stems from for you. And just remembering to communicate how you feel, but also transmute some some maybe more difficult, um, tougher energies in order to allow the heart center to expand and to reopen again. If those of you who have been feeling like you've had a blocked heart space here, okay? So I think I'm going to leave it there. I hope that this reading could help some of you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great week and I'll talk to you next time. All right, much love. All right, much love. All right, much love.